Hey guys, it's Jared. It's time for another garden tour. All right. We've got a bunch of clematis that's starting to bloom here. Well, can I even get in there? There we go. There's dark purple clematis. A bunch of buds. That's a fairly new plant for me. Big uh, Dutchman's pipe, which is actually never flowered. I'm hoping that might flower this year. And some veggies, strawberries. And we get some Mexican daylilies coming up. Gladiolus. And I have a bunch of annuals coming up in here. Got some. Poppies, uh, Snapdragon, a couple different things, Cosmos in there. This is Nasturtium. Beautiful edible flowers. Come in a variety of colors, but orange is my favorite color, so I really like that one. Couple things popping up over there. We'll see if they get enough sunlight. A mugo pine. And some more clematis. This one I moved from the front garden. Uh, it was one of the first plants that I actually ever planted here. And actually, this year it's doing really well. It likes this new spot. Dilby's starting to come up. It's got a flower spike on there. We got some coral bells. These don't have the prettiest flowers. Some do. Some are actually coral colored, hence the name, but there we go. Those are kind of pretty. Got a bunch of big leaf ligularia coming up. Those will have some flower pods shooting up soon. This is pulmonaria, lungwort. Um, I was actually told that evolutionarily the spots on the leaves were supposed to be like bird droppings to keep things from foraging on them. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Some willies popping up. It's a type of a sunflower. My hibiscus are doing really well. And some dianthus. Bunch of buds on my lilies are coming up. Some other pink dianthus. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Some irises. Some more combine. And a hydrangea in the back. See some false indigo in the back. Bunch of annuals. This 
Centauria. Love the shape of those petals. Like alien flowers or something. are just hanging on. That tumbleweed Allen. Dried up giant Allen. This is going to be another ornamental onion. This is a GM. Avens, I'm not sure what the actual name. Ugra. Some delphinium, which sure just about to open up. Different types of hyssop. Smells like licorice. So I have some purple flowers pretty soon. Let's see if I can get out here. These are roses. Some echinacea. colored coral bells in there. Painted daisy. Looks like there's a little flower here from this is rhododendron. Some dailies, some bee balm. Bleeding hearts are starting to fade. Some gladiolas poking up. And then we got some sedum in the front. Some lickness that's starting to flower. Some 
tall garden phlox that's growing in there. And the shade garden is doing pretty well. Bells. A couple different types of bell flower. Angels fading. Some big hens and chicks. Some Chinese primrose, which is going to have a flower stock soon. And this is where my cobweb sempervivum. You can see one that's kind of cobwebby in there, but these all flowered. Or are about to flower. Some geraniums. I'm really excited about this. This is that ugly cactus that I was kind of worried about, but look, there are some, some new growth on there. I think this is just a wee, but this is elderberry. I thought it was kind of pretty. Pollinators like it. There's a blue Canterbury bell that will be blossoming soon. This tree. It's bittersweet. into this dead pine. Actually no, that's honeysuckle, not not very sweet. It's, it's close. And then kind of a bunch of things that are kind of poking up in here. Some sunflowers, Mexican sunflowers, some, uh, chrysanthemums, and poppies which are doing really nice. And got some cornflowers. looking pretty good too. Cosmo. And then just a bunch of lickness. Little seedlings coming up, and that's Cleome. 
So those will be those big spider flowers in the summer. Yeah, this is kind of a transition period. Uh, the, a lot of the spring flowers are starting to fade, and a lot of the summer flowers aren't really in yet. Uh, but all in all, it's looking pretty good. That is about it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys everything, especially while these bearded irises are doing so well. But all right, I guess I am signing out. I will see you again soon.